Sandy's personality is very loving, caring and loyal. She's so chilled. She just wants to be on your lap, being soothed. There we go. There we go. <laughs> she just wants to be cuddled. She may be all cuddles inside, <coughs> but outside, anything four-legged, better beware. Sorry. As soon as she sees another dog, she wants to fight, basically. Come on. Oh. She's probably bit around five dogs. Careful, please. This terrier just loves a tear-up. Sandy, come on. Sandy, Sandy. Pick her up. Beth and Luke live in constant fear that Sandy's next attack could right. be fatal. She didn't have a muzzle on. And that little dog, yeah. she would definitely try to kill it. Oh, Luke, there's a dog. Every time Sandy on, sees red, Beth's stress levels rocket. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's too close, Luke. Making her want to walk the other way. Careful, please. I'll hold the lead if I know there's no dogs around, but it's instantly when a dog comes, I'm thinking, oh, my God, what is coming towards me? That lead gets passed straight to me. Yeah. Oh! Luke, please pull her away. Sandy's constant dust-ups is causing conflict between the couple. That's too close, Luke! We argue a lot. Yeah, I've got her right there, phoning at me, saying I'm not doing a good job. You don't need to do it like that. You can just put it on. Oh, you're doing my head in, Luke. Pass it then. No, you're doing my head in. And it does annoy me. Mm. After three years of Sandy driving Luke and Beth mad at each other, they're struggling to move on with their relationship. We're at the stage now where we want to buy a house with each other. But with Sandy, with her behaviour, I don't think we can. Yeah. I don't want to be in the nightmare neighbours with a crazy dog. Patterdale Terriers are tough little dogs. They come from the North Country, from Cumbria, and they were bred for flushing out small animals like foxes and, frankly, killing them if necessary. If Sandy's got that killing instinct, it's going to be really hard to fix. And Graham doesn't need to wait long to see Sandy's killer instinct in action. No. Right then. Hi. Hello. This will be Sandy then. Yeah. There's a lady with a dog in the distance, right over there, and Sandy with green bananas. Sandy, stop. Shh. Shh, shh, shh. So she like it with any dog? Every dog. I mean, I feel like she would probably kill right. the dog if she could. Luke's had to, like, use all of his force to get her off a dog before. How long have you had her? Uh, I'd say coming up to five years. Right. For the first two years, she got on with dogs, she'd be off the lead, right. absolutely fine. And then we were walking her on a lead and she did attack a dog. Oh, right. What started off as nice walks is now turned into hell. All right, well, look, I'll tell you what, let's go for a walk. Yeah, if you want to head on okay. off, I'll follow you. Come on. There's a dog. Wait, Sandy. Oh. Come on. You just put her on a short lead. Sad. Sandy. Come on. Stop, 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 stop. Right, stop. Sandy. Oh, no, I don't like it. Luce, please, I'm scared now. Come on. Just walk faster. Beth, what are you thinking? Uh, I hate this. Luke, please go faster. You just want to go away. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is stressing me out. Sandy, just pull her. Come on, Sandy. So I'm there then. Um, that is Sandy on a walk, but. Well, it is, but you, we were over there. We've ended up right by the car park. Yeah. You hate it, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I just try and redirect <laughs> wherever I can go, really. Where's your head? What are you thinking? Oh, it's all over the place. I've got her just pushing me. I'm trying to sort of Sandy out as well. It's just not, in, not enjoyable to have a walk of her. What I'm looking at is a bit of a mess, frankly. They're arguing a lot over this dog. The first thing Beth wants to do 
when everything's going wrong, it's to run away from the problem. And actually, that's sending the wrong signal out to Sandy. Well, I think some patterdales, as we know, are uh, a bit aggressive. But what's interesting is she wasn't like this until she was two years old. So she's learned the wrong things. And from the moment it started, it's got worse and worse because she's sending out the wrong signals. No. You know, Beth, when the pressure builds a bit, it's like, no, let's get out of here, let's run away. Yeah. But the more it happens, Sandy goes, I see another dog and bad things happen. Yeah. Every time I see a dog, bad things happen. I hate dogs. OK. How do you feel about that? <laughs> that I'm the bad. <laughs> <laughs> when we're feeling that kind of stress, we just can't... We just want to get away. If the couple continue to run away from the problem... That's too closely! ..this terrorising terrier could put their plans of moving in together on permanent hold. Ah! But Graham believes he's got a solution that will force them to tackle Sandy's rage head on. I want to start a certain distance away from another dog and then we'll make our way closer to that dog in stages and it means that we can think clearly and send out the right signals. And the signals are really simple. If you're a good girl, we'll praise you. But if you're being naughty, well, we'll tell you off in the right way. So, the yellow line's at 10 metres from the other dog. The green line is at six metres. Where we want to get to is walking up and down the blue line. That's a couple of metres away without any barking. OK. Right, let me give it a go. No, I know, I know, come on. Graham thinks the key to fixing Sandy's frenzies is to rein in her rage. Hey, hey! When she kicks off, ah. she'll be told to... Calm down. Calm down. ..and only be allowed to move closer when she simmers down. Hey, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. But Sandy's still at boiling point. No, calm down. Graham needs to take the heat out. No, calm down. So I'm bringing the excitement down a bit. The other dog's still walking up and down. Hello. Good girl. Now, look, you don't have to be like this. I know. Let's start again. Let's see if we can go up and down a couple of times without any barking. So, good girl. Good girl. This is super. After snapping Sandy out of her rage... Clever girl, that's super. Graham's now able to Good praise girl. her calm behaviour. Good girl. Good girl. That's great. And encourage more of it. Clever girl. That's super. Good. <laughs> Was it dancing with dogs now? Come on, then. You're a bit nearer. Now Sandy's learnt to control her temper at the 10-metre mark, she can move closer. Come on, then. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Great. But will she be able to resist there a rampage go. at only two metres? It's me and you, girl. Clever girl, that's super, yeah, is it? Yeah, that was so good. Two metres, no corrections. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Yeah, brilliant, see that? Right, over to you, I think. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Having always escaped in a panic every time Sandy erupted, Graham wants to see if this time Beth can keep calm. <laughs> and get Sandy to follow in her footsteps. Right, Beth, you know what to do. Off you go. Good girl. Hey, this is good. I'm nervous. Beth, you're doing really well. I mean, that's six metres away. Good girl. I reckon this morning you couldn't get within 60 metres. No, I feel really proud. Well, so you should be. And you look calm. Yeah, I feel it. <laughs> calm down, calm down. Calm down. That's it, stick to your guns. Brilliant. By keeping cool and telling Sandy to simmer down, Beth's able to quench the anger before it explodes into rage. This morning, every time it went slightly wrong, Beth just wanted to run away. She's not doing that anymore. Good. But will she be able to keep Sandy's fury under control when she's within striking distance of another dog? Good girl. That's it. Keep going. Good girl. Well, Good girl, right. Sand. Ha! <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Well done, Beth. Good. Right. And again. You're on a roll now. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. My God, that was amazing. <laughs> Can't believe it. That was brilliant. Good girl, Sandy. 
After three years of picking a fight with every pooch that crossed her path, Sandy's finally learnt to be the bigger dog. And Beth isn't running for the hills anymore. Fantastic. Right, come here. <laughs> Brilliant. I take my hat off to you, madam. Thanks. <laughs> well done. I thought that you'd be able to do it, but I didn't think that I'd be able to do it. Well, I've got news for you. You did better than me. <laughs> Pat on the back. <laughs> what will this mean for you in the future? Potentially moving in together? Yeah, I can put up with her. <laughs> yeah, I feel a lot more confident in going out by myself and walking Sandy. So if Luke wasn't home, then I'd be able to just take her by myself now. It's a big relief. This morning, Beth just couldn't handle Sandy on her own. The idea of, of walking her when Luke wasn't there was terrifying, I think, to her. That's not the case, now. Sandy's a lot calmer. Beth has control of Sandy, and the end result is that the future is bright for her, I think.